Hey guys, what's up? I'm Melissa Mary and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my first ever TBR video. There are certain goals that I have and like certain books that I want to read before this year ends. So without further ado, let's get into my list. So the first book I want to mention is Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. This is about a girl named Yumiko who is a kitsune and Yumiko is tasked with looking after a piece of the dragon scroll. So she is on a quest to take this scroll to another temple and on this quest she's with a guy named Tatsumi who is part of the Shadow Clan who is actually looking for the scroll that she has but she has to keep it hidden because you know, shh, that looked really stupid. Anyway, I am buddy reading this and I am so excited because this is my first time have a buddy reading. So I'm buddy reading this with Jade over at Jaded Reader, Sarah over at Novel Serendipity, and Leia over at Where in the World is Leia Jane? <laughs> the next book that I'm aiming to read is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas. I am, I got up to chapter 16 in the month of November and haven't read it since because <laughs> 900 pages. I just really want to be able to devote time to this so my guess is that the week in between finishing my exams and going back to Australia I will finish this. That is my goal if I don't do it. The next book I want to read is another book that I started in November and <laughs> also never finished and that is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Noir. This is about a girl named Lei who is taken from her family to be a paper girl in the Emperor's Palace, which is basically like a concubine for the Emperor and they are paper girls for a year. However, she does not want to be there and she actually kind of goes against it and there's like a female-female romance, so I'm really excited, but I'm only like 40, 50 pages into this, so. <laughs> Oops. I have really high expectations for this. Everyone's loved it that I've heard of. And then the last, like, physical book that I'm planning on reading so far. Like, I'm probably gonna read, like, a crap ton more, but this is just, like, my tentative TBR. Like, I don't want to say I'm gonna read all these things and then get to Australia and be like, mm, yeah, no, I'm not really feeling like this. Because when I'm in the sun, your girl likes to sit on her Kindle and read trashy, smutty romances. No shame. But the last book that I plan on reading is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, and I'm buddy rereading it with Soleil over at The Little Reader's Corner. I am not going to give you guys, uh, I like don't really want to sit here and explain to you what TMI is about because, uh, I mean it's about a girl named Clary Frey and her mom goes missing and she finds out that she's actually part angel and that she's a shadow hunter and you know, stuff ensues from there. That is my explanation of City of Bones because <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we plan on buddy rereading it until after exams because we both finish exams on December 14th, which is kind of nice. So, <laughs> twin, love her so much. Um, I really don't know, like, okay, I love this sweater, but like it keeps like doing this and it's not meant to, like it's not a, it's a, <sighs> whatever. The next two books I'm gonna to talk to you guys about are two books that I plan on reading on my Kindle when I'm in Australia for sure because they are romances. So the first one I want to talk to you guys about is Hot Shot Doc by R.S. Gray. I have no clue what this is actually about. I haven't read the synopsis. I don't really plan on reading the synopsis. I plan on going into it blind. Um, this book is not out yet. I pre-ordered it. I believe it comes out very soon. But I'm a huge, huge, huge R.S. Gray fan. She is one of my insta-buy new adult romance authors. And they are always my favourite to read during the summertime while laying by the pool. So that's one. And the next one I'm kind of reading, After by Anna Todd. Now you're probably thinking, seriously? But yes. <laughs> if you guys have not heard of After, it has pretty much been all over book Twitter and is being made into a movie. From what I've gathered from it, it's like a teenage version of Fifty Shades of Grey. And <laughs> to me, it seems hilarious. I think I'm going to laugh my ass off. But at the same time, I think I'm going to love it. I'm gonna love it because of how bad it's going to be. I don't really know much about it. I know it's about a girl, her name's Tessa, and she falls for a guy named Harden, who is this British bad boy guitar dude, and that's it. That's, that's pretty much all I know about it. I'm also going into that blind. The next two ones I'm gonna to talk to you guys about are my two audiobooks, The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. I listened to Final Girls by her last month, and I gave it a 3.5 stars. However, I still really enjoy her writing. It's not like my favorite, but I have a feeling that this might be 
better. I know last time I lied is about a woman and years ago when she was at camp the girls in her cabin went missing and were never found and now so many years later the camp has asked her to come back and be like an art therapist and once again in her cabin the girls go missing and everyone's just like <laughs> what? And so she's like investigating it and that's all I know. And then the next one I want to listen to is Little Monsters by Cara Thomas. I love Cara Thomas. I listened to The Cheerleaders by her back in October and loved it. Apparently Little Monsters is even better, so <laughs> that means I gotta pick that up too. Um, God, I'm just trying to recall what it's about because I'm lazy and don't feel like looking it up. No, it's about three girls. One of them is a new transfer student and she becomes friends with these two other popular girls. And then suddenly one of the girls either goes missing or she dies and then the transfer student is blamed for it, but she's just like, what? And that's what it's about. <laughs> Click the like button below if you think my descriptions of these books are flame. And then last but not least, I'm going to tell you guys about the three mangas that I plan on reading. I went on Books A Million because I was looking to buy a specific gift for one of my best friends. And when I was there, I remembered that Ashley over at Ashley Outpage mentioned that <laughs> they were doing a buy to get the third manga for free. And that is Love and Lies by Masao. And I got volumes one, two, and three. Such, such gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. But it is about a world where when you turn 16 years old, you are pretty much engaged to someone. Like, you're not allowed to be with anyone else, you're not allowed to fall in love with anyone else. However, our main character falls in love with this girl, and on the day that he turns 16, he tells her, and then she tells him that she's also in love with him, and then, you know, he's paired off with this other girl. Stuff ensues from there, so... That's kind of all I can tell you. That is it for my December TBR. My, my tentative TBR. Huh? Tentative TBR. You get it, guys? alliteration. If you guys have read these books and you've enjoyed them, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of me, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, thanks a bunch guys. Bye! <laughs> I'm so dumb. So I just got a ring light and um, I just realized you can adjust the brightness and then I had it on like the lowest setting this whole time. <laughs> But I'm not about to refilm that, so. I thought it was weirdly not bright. This makes so much sense. And this looks so much better. <sighs> if you want a ring light, like I am, I am leaving this one in the description box below. Bye. Bye.